So my role at the foundation has evolved over the last few years. And I started um, helping researchers find funds for, re for research, like competitive funds for research. I mean, as you know, the foundation is a great support, both financially and uh, in terms of uh, actual money that, that the foundation gives for researchers, for labs here to do their research, their high-risk projects. But it's also important that we find external sources of funding that are competitive. And what I mean by, by competitive, you know, we're, we're putting our project proposals out there and asking our peers to evaluate those projects and tell us if they're good enough, excellent enough, they're, if their impact is, is expected to be high enough, uh, and if they're feasible, um, and that they, if they deserve to be funded. You know, and then there's many funding agencies out there, some are private, some are public, I know some are big agencies like the European Community Commission, some are smaller uh, foundations like the BIA Foundation, for instance, here in Portugal. So all these different sources of, of funding come together and help a research institute like the Champalmo Foundation uh, to fund its research programs. So that was my initial involvement with the foundation. And then over the years, I've been uh, asked to help uh, the foundation and help the researchers actually manage those funds once those grants are awarded to, to, to the researchers so that they can develop their projects. So once the project starts, you know, there's a whole administrative and financial burden that sits on, that used to rest on top of uh, researchers' uh, shoulders. But hopefully, uh, you know, more and more um, research institutes realize that scientists really need to focus on doing research and not worry so much about you know, how the money is being spent, if the reports are being sent, how the reports are being sent uh, to, to the agencies, you know, asking for the next, uh, you know, next payment for, for their uh, grant. All those bureaucratic uh, aspects are today in most research institutes, and that happens here in the foundation, managed by a grants office specialized in what we call the post award, which is once the part project start, starts, we need to manage it from the administrative and financial side. And my involvement in the foundation with the researchers over the years has evolved towards that, uh, that role. There's personal challenges uh, or professional challenges from an, an individual uh, standpoint, and there's institutional challenges. And actually, the research environment has suffered tremendously with this economic crisis. Of course, if governments are struggling to, to, to have money for, for the people, for their social programs, for their industrial programs, for all sorts of programs, including research programs. And so when research institutes, when research groups depend too much on public funds for, for research, naturally when the, uh, when the budgets, the annual budgets go down, then those institutes also suffer. Those universities, those institutes also suffer. And so it is really important that we find alternative sources of funding and, and thankfully there's private foundations and there's larger organizations, both public and private, that can help, um, you know, that can help complement um, and, and, and find other ways to, so that the research programs can actually survive through uh, economic hardship and, and stay competitive and, and, and keep doing excellent science. From a personal standpoint, of course, I was a researcher for many years. I was trained as a researcher. And sometimes as a researcher, you just want things to work quickly because naturally science is not, you can't predict everything that's gonna happen with your research project. And so it's important that, for research, it's important to be able to adapt, to react to the results that he's getting and to be able to make changes and adapt. And sometimes as a researcher, you, we want things to happen quickly. We want changes to be implemented quickly. You know, we want to change the type of reagents that we're purchasing uh, under a project and want to perhaps buy a piece of equipment. Now, this is a, a big machine, right? And there's many moving parts. And what I didn't realize at the time was that there's, a, there's always a butterfly effect on, on any change that we make inside an institute of this size. So if we make a small change here, it actually has uh, implications in, in many, many other departments, many other different aspects. And so I think what I've learned the most is that, you know, it, we can't just be focused on what we're doing, but we have to be mindful of everybody else that's involved and all the work that goes in the background, the back office, to, to make possible research projects that are highly competitive and really interesting. I mean, we have some researchers here doing amazing, amazing things. And, but for all those things to be possible, then 
there's a big back office, a big machine behind that and making that uh, happen. And so, you know, as a, as a, now I'm very appreciative of all that was going on behind my back in a positive way when, while I was a researcher. And I'm now glad to be part of that machinery that makes things possible. You know, one of the good things that came out of this economic crisis is that people found new ways of cooperating and making more with less resource, resources making the best out of the allocation of those resources. And I think moving forward, the, right, the scientific community um, that was, was already collaborating in many at many different levels now understands that moving forward and as we come out of this economic crisis, we have to make the best out of the new ways that we found to work together. And I think that's, that's the future, that the research institutes share more, uh, share in, in a way that's smarter, um, and that leads to uh, a more effective use of resources that, in the end, uh, have a, a positive uh, impact on society in general, if you will.